Why do I even bother? Hello and welcome to In The Armchair. Today we're going to be reviewing a film called Ava. Now Ava actually got a limited cinema release a couple of months ago. Obviously we know with the pandemic, so Netflix picked it up and it started streaming here in England last week. Now I did exactly the same thing as I did last week, which was turn on my Netflix, see what was trending. The number one film in the UK was Ava. I saw it star Jessica Chastain, Colin Farrell, John Malkovich and I thought, okay, this seems decent. Let me put this on. And once again, that was a big mistake. So in very simple terms, Ava's an international assassin. She works for a covert black ops organization, but one hit goes wrong. And so she's forced to fight for her survival. <sighs> Even by reading that synopsis, this is familiar ground. You've seen it before. You've heard it before. There was nothing new here. But I've always been told, start with the positive. The opening credit sequence was brilliant. It was a series of montages that gave you a complete backstory into her character, how she got into the organisation, some of the key players that are going to be in the film. That was quite unique and I think more films should utilise that. I also like that they attempted to explore the loneliness that you might face as an assassin. However, the key word was attempt because everything else about this movie was ridiculous. You had a plot that was just bland, generic and hollow. There was nothing to it. You didn't learn a single thing throughout the film. It was just not credible in any way. Yes, we've seen this spy thriller genre done a million times before, varying levels of success, but this was just pointless. There were various subplots that added zero value to the film, completely wasteful. And one thing that could have brought a certain level of respect to the film, the action, was just disappointing. The action scenes were just shot poorly. There were a thousand jump cuts and edits, in between every single motion. If you can't direct action smoothly, then just don't bother. And then finally, we come to the acting. Let's start with Jessica Chastain. I don't know what's happened to her. I don't understand her film selection. She used to be someone that I really enjoyed and could rely on in a film. From Zero Dark Thirty, to Molly's Game, to Interstellar, to The Martian. But recently, she has really been pissing me off. First, it started with X-Men Dark Phoenix. I'll leave a link to the podcast I did about that film. But now this? What's going on? I really don't understand. And next up, we've got Colin Farrell, who at one time was considered an A-list. His career has been on the downhill side for a long time, to be fair. But this is really getting to the bottom of the barrel. He just looked like he didn't even care that he was there. He didn't put any effort into his acting. Shocking. And then we come on to Common. When he first started acting, I thought he was actually decent. I thought he had potential. But now, since this and the kitchen, he needs to go back to rapping. And then we come to John Malkovich, who I think is an excellent actor. He normally plays these offbeat, eccentric roles. Here, however, he just tones it all the way down and it's just boring. And so with that, the chemistry between all the characters just felt awkward. There were no relationships that I was buying in any way, shape or form. Overall, the film was boring and predictable. The final showdown was just silly and made no sense. Despite the film being only 90 minutes, it felt like an eternity. This is the definition of a forgettable movie. I'm worried about Jessica Chastain. One star. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and watch some of my other videos.